Okay, if you didn't think there was gonna be spoilers, you're kind of stupid. End of story. Let's do this, I know, I know. Look, look at my subscribers, look at my videos. It makes no sense to start this. Yeah. I'm here to explain to you guys why Endgame is one of my favorite movies. And okay, this is a personal, you know, opinion. Maybe a fact. Just leave a comment down below why you guys thought Endgame was one of your favorite movies or why it was one of your worst movies. Please don't ever fucking say that. First things first, let me explain the relatable depression in the beginning of the movie. Um, first of all, Thor is fat, guys. Okay. Thor is fat. He's fat. You understand? You guys may think, Dan, that's stupid. They're trying to be funny. But to me, I kind of saw it as, you know, some people handle depression in different sort of ways. You know, as you saw Captain America sitting, trying to cheer people up because he's Captain America. He's, he's all good. He's very positive. He's a very positive being, you know. And he enjoys helping other people very much. You know, I'm not saying the other Avengers don't. Obviously, of course they do. They're trying to save the world half the time. But... People deal with things in certain different ways. Captain America is trying to move on, help other people move on, feeling as if he should accept his fate and others should too, and he's trying to help them get past, you know, everything that's been going on. Thor, on the other hand, he's, he's drinking, trying to forget about the mistake that he made, feel like it was all his fault, like it's all his blame. And, of course, there's other people who are just, you know, normally dealing with it. For example, Black Widow, she's trying to figure out what's going on with Hawkeye and where he's at and what he's doing and how he's handling it. And obviously, he uh, kind of was killing people, man. You know, just killing people, trying to get his rage out. You may deal with it a different way. I may deal with it a different way. That's how it is. Now, a second reason why Endgame is one of my favorite movies is the Professor Hulk. The way they portrayed him. Um, when I used to read comics, you know, about Professor Hulk, all those comics, I used to see Professor Hulk as, you know, I didn't really like him when I was younger. I didn't really like him that much because of the fact that, you know, it wasn't Hulk. And, you know, when you're a kid, you know, you like the, the strength. You like all that, all that mean stuff. You like the meanie. You like the little meanie. You like the meanie man. You are Obviously, other people, you know, they found it very annoying. Professor Hulk, they didn't like that. And obviously, this goes back to opinion-wise, but to me, I just feel like they, whether you like it or not, you, ha you have to, you know, admit that they did a very great job on that. From the beginning to now, how Hulk couldn't even handle himself. He hated, you know, that other side of him. He hated Hulk. Bruce Banner hated Hulk. And now he's grown to actually come together with him after facing so many problems with himself, which is kind of very, very nice in my opinion. And now he became Professor Hulk, very smart and strong still. Great. He looked exactly like Bruce Banner. Obviously, they did a great job. MCU is very good at CGI and all those stuff. Great at that stuff. And obviously, guys, I'm not a know-it-all, but I, I certainly have my perspectives and I certainly have my opinions. You guys do too, so just let me know down in the comments what you guys think. You know, let me know if you guys like that Professor Hulk, because I kind of want to know. I want to know if you guys liked it too, just as much as I did. Now, a third thing I have to say I really, really did enjoy, guys. Come on, the fight scene. When Captain America got that hammer, when you saw it float up, everyone thought, you know, when I was in the theater, oh my lord, everyone thought that, you know, it was Thor who's going to get that hammer. It's floating up, you know, he's in the middle of almost dying, getting stabbed right in the chest. You know, it's kind of weird that Thor didn't even think about that. How come he didn't think about that? That's kind of weird. That's kind of odd. Number three is honestly one of my favorites because of the fact that Captain America being so worthy in an, an Age of Ultron, Captain America almost picked it up. We saw it nudge just a little bit, just a little bit, guys. And Thor, he was a little worried, you know? And it's kind of nice that only Thor saw that. No one else did. And, you know, Captain America was like, yeah, you know, I, I didn't even nudge it. But Thor saw that he did. He was becoming worthy. Or was he already? I don't really know. What if Captain America was just trying to, you know, let Thor have his fun? Who knows? I don't know. That's a crazy theory to have. But listen, point is, Thor knew he was worthy. Thor knew. That's why when he got that hammer, he said, I knew it. I think that's what he said. Pretty sure he said, I knew it. And he knew that Captain America was definitely worthy. And that's kind of awesome that, you know, Thor is still worthy and anyone who's really worthy can wield the hammer. It's not just one person. I always thought it'd have to be one person who's worthy. 
Number four, it has to be the fact that Endgame is a perfect, perfect mixture of comedy. It's a perfect mixture of, of action. It's a perfect mixture of everything. Honestly, it is one of the most perfectly balanced movies, in my opinion. Some people thought it was way too funny, trying to be way too funny, or most people thought there wasn't that much, there was too much story, you know, things like that. But honestly, I thought it was a perfect mixture. It was the perfect, perfect, perfect recipe for a great movie, for a masterpiece. And I may be going over my head. Most people may think the Avengers Endgame is overrated. I haven't heard one person say that. But I'm sure some people do think that. But to me, no. No. Guys, the comedy in that movie, the way that Rocket was being a dickhead, you know, how he always is, making fun of... <clears throat> Ellen's haircut and making fun of Thor for not aiming for the head making fun of everyone you know that's how Rocket is he's kind of an asshole but a funny asshole those four things have to be the reason why I love Avengers Endgame so damn much why it's one of my favorite movies and honestly guys that's that's kind of all I have here because if I if I keep going it's gonna get kind of simplistic it's kind of gonna get annoying because you guys are like, yeah 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 we know it's kind of obvious that you know this that this that yeah so thank you guys so much for watching I really appreciate it, and until next time, hopefully you're worthy enough to watch my next video, I'm gonna stop, but anyways guys, thank you guys so much for watching, I really do appreciate it guys, and until next time, just let me know down in the comments what you guys want me to do next, what you guys like, what you guys love, and subscribe if you really do love my videos, and like, leave a like if you guys like the video, you know, so anyways, thank you guys for watching, I really do appreciate it, until next time. Peace. Fire.